What's going on, y'all? This is Casey Schofield on the A Little Bit of Everything podcast. Just wanted to tell you guys a couple things before we get started. This is going to be a two-part episode, and what we're going to do is we're going to merge them into one big episode. I'm super excited to bring you guys this. For the first time, we interview the heavy buckets in the first part of this podcast, and then on the second half, it is the heavy buckets and a lost asylum. We had a blast, guys. This 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 was an amazing podcast. It was an amazing concert. And I'm just going to say right now, for the record, I was pretty inebriated in the second half of this podcast. So I do apologize if, you know, I was a little uh, emotionally invested, shall we say. But uh, you know what? It's all good. We're all great friends. We had a great time. The show was awesome. The podcast was great. And the beer is cold, baby. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. What's going down, y'all? It is that guy, the best-looking, long-haired motherfucker in the Ogden. Yeah. It is your old pal, Casey. And I'm here with the Heavy Buckets on the A Little Bit of Everything podcast. And this is going to be a two-parter, man. The first part, we're chilling in here on the bus with little brother Nate and Jimmy, Timmy, and... and uh, Nate and Mr. Sauce over there. Mr. Sauce, who knows my brother... But no, no, that's Harley. Oh, he's not in here. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm getting people confused. <laughs> we got a lot of people in our band. I'm getting people confused, people. man. There's but six you know, in this band, so oh it's shit. Hard for me to even keep track of. Oh uh, shit, man. There's five in the Lost Asylum. So we're here at Liquid Joe's, y'all, and uh, we got a show with a Lost Asylum tonight, man. You guys. Uh, you guys excited for this? Because well, like Nate and Tammy especially, because like I talked to you guys at the bar. Yeah. Last month, man, and we yeah. talked about this, man. You know, and we were all excited for this shit, man. I'll tell you what, dude. Fucking, dude, I can't wait for this shit, man. I'm, Hell yeah. dude. I mean, I've been looking forward to this for fucking ever, dude. <laughs> Fuck awesome, yeah. Man. It's gonna and, be a good show. Yeah. Oh yeah. And and uh, a lost asylum. Uh, this is their first time, I believe, on stage in a year, man. And fucking wow, like, really? oh, dude, like I used to not miss a show, man. Like of uh, theirs, man. Yeah. And we'd, yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. And they they were uh, they were at our Evil Blood 2018 event, our pro wrestling event last year. And brother Nate, man, this year we got you guys, Hell man. Yeah, man, dude. I'm fucking stoked, man. I am stoked. They you get know. too excited about the buckets. We wreck places up, and dude, <laughs> dude, drink all the booze. Oh fuck! <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm excited, man. I'm fucking excited, brother. Sauce might leave with the ladies. That's okay. That's what he's supposed to do. That is what he does. He might not have pants on. Shit! He, oh, they're all most lucky right now that he has pants on it's because this is a rare fortunate. occasion. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Like, if I could just find a good enough looking chick at Kamikazes, I'd probably hit it and quit that's it and <laughs> do the damn thing. <laughs> but that's a problem, though. Like, it's 25th Street in Ogden, man. There's like all kinds. Oh hell yeah! All kinds. That's, that's putting it lightly. Yeah, well, I kind of wanted to put it lightly because chances are a lot of them are going to hear it. Weeks and the freaks. <laughs> <laughs> but we love them all. They're our people, dude. They are, they people. are man. Yeah, they are, they are man. It is. It is our city, as I say on the Ogden page like, every like, fucking we're, week. We're, we ain't no fries anyway. Yeah, no shit. We're we're the worst of the. We're the bottom of the barrel. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> which yeah, which uh, tends to. Supersede us at certain Right, right. It does. It does very much. <laughs> but so. dude, dude, like it's man. It's like I said, dude. Like, and it's like I say on the Ogden page every week, man. They're all beautiful people, and we love them all, man. You know, yeah, yeah, we, we do. do our art for them. We bring us music and podcasts for them, man. Cause, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because we love doing it, man. Like, it's it's like it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like the life of an artist, man. Yeah, definitely. You know, like. Regardless of what you're pretty, that's for sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck, dude, it's taken me 20 years just to get this far. Yeah, it's I get that. Fucking sucks. Hell it's, yeah. It's like, you know, people. It's worth it, though. Oh, definitely it is, man. You know, and like, you know, people think, well, I'll just sell out and get it all now. It's like, well, what's the fun in that, man? You gotta climb, dude. Exactly. Climb and sure. en- yeah, climb and enjoy every second of it, yep. man. Run yourself ragged and do what you can do for the love of the art. Oh, I'm telling you. My brother Nate knows, we're, man. This is, our third, know. this is our third night in a row. Oh, my God, For the man. weekend, man. Dude, and this bus looks comfortable. Oh, oh man, man, it is. Yeah. It's been great. 
Dude, <laughs> it's a bitch to get around Ogden or uh, Salt Lake in this thing. Not all the but... fucking cones that they have. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> they work on every street all the time. I'm we jumping did. out, moving barrels out of the way. Ah, so in here, we just mowed them down. <laughs> I just mowed. Yeah, they right did actually mow. We drug one of them down. for like 15 oh, feet shit. underneath the bus, <laughs> <laughs> right in front of the city. Bam! The sandbagger was literally right there. That's barrels. Shit. Man, dude, I could totally crash on this fucking bed, like, oh, yeah. every fuck, dude, to like... Couch, and then we got the booth here that turns into a bed, that's navy blue. Give me a cooler of Corona, <laughs> and a big booty Judy, and I'm Big good. booty Judy's all around. Oh, <laughs> God damn, son, don't be telling me that. <laughs> Hopefully we get some of them here today. I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. Damn it, it's been, what, a week? Almost a week? Yeah. That's too long for Casey. Oh shit, <laughs> dude! You're an animal, <laughs> dude. Me and this chick, uh, well, let's just say we're friends. Yeah. We went up in the mountains about a week ago, and I watched the sun come up, and then I said, "Baby, we got to go inside and do the damn thing because it's been a while." <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> dude, she's like, she said, "Well, good because I missed you in that sexy hair," and I'm like. Let's go! <laughs> Get in the bed, bitch, and we're going to town. <laughs> so he called her a bitch. Just, to make sure, just so she knows who's... Well, that's because <laughs> she was naughty and neglectful. <laughs> yeah, she was. So I had to say, Terry wants some ass. <laughs> and it's gonna happen. So lay it, oh, shit. Lay it if down if on the bed. If, and let's do the damned if thingeth. Let's do the thingeth. <laughs> With the dingeth. Do the thing. <laughs> Do with the if damn thing. If you're listening, thing. please call it. We want to hear your side. <laughs> and just remember, always. I want to hear the other side. And, exactly. and just remember, always. Go with propane and propane accessories. I tell you what, because it's God's gas, the best in Strickland propane. <laughs> I fucking love that show, dude. I've been watching that show since I was like, yeah, dude. I love that show. I've been watching it since I was fucking seven years old. Old Hank Hill, man. Oh yeah, yeah. my son's my old band used to. They used to open the show with that song all the time. Man. Oh my god, good great back in the day, man. dude. Speaking of Hank, man, I loved Hank so much that like seven years ago. In 2012, at our biggest event of the year, yeah, I did that. I did an angle where fucking Hank made a fucking cameo. Dude. Nice. I shit you not, and it was entertaining as fuck. Oh yeah, man. Oh I man, that. it's For still sure. talked about. Me and Johnny still look back on it, man. But dude, let's talk about tonight, man. I know we keep getting off track. <laughs> <laughs> when it does, we're back okay. off track again. Right away. Oh shit! Oh, it happens. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about it. The buckets. A lost asylum Hell and yeah. the podcast all in one fucking night, man, dude. Yeah. This is this shit right here is what I've been looking forward to for over two months. Yep, motherfucker. Nice. Oh now, fuck. Uh, have you? This is like my summer Christmas, dude. I'm fucking. Mm. Hell yeah, man. Oh, I'm excited. Hell yeah. It's this is a hell of a bar, time. man. Yeah, oh, dude. I know, dude. Inside I, dude. Awesome. Dude, I, dude. I attended my first show with Lost Asylum. Yeah. Here. Really? How long ago? Two years ago. Justin, what, no, what was it two or three years ago? I think it was two or three years ago. Uh, Justin and I had been friends for over nine years. Okay. Justin and I go back a long way. So, we go back to our days in uh, Ephraim, Snow College days. Oh. So, uh, but we won't talk about those days. <laughs> Not <in this laughs> that good, huh? Not, well, uh, let's put it this way. I drank a whole fifth of Jaeger and it didn't do damn nothing. But back then, I could suck whiskey through a straw. Damn. I was, fuck, dude, I was 21 and invincible. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it didn't take too long. For 21 and invincible. It, didn't, see. it didn't take too long to figure out I probably shouldn't be doing that anymore. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it'll sneak up on you now. Yep. I'm yep. telling you. Take it from me. Well, I mean, I'm almost. Ass one good day. thing it's the audio only. Dude, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah. God, if you could see my face, <laughs> <laughs> you could see the mess we're in, dude. <laughs> I'm almost thirty, and oh, I can. Oh my goodness! Like, I can feel it, man. Already, they all feel yeah. through. Yeah. I can feel it, man. You know what I mean? Like, but it's because I've had too much fucking fun in my twenties. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, I don't regret it, dude. Well, I mean, I don't regret most of it. There's parts of it I do. Yeah, hell. Everyone has regrets in life, of course. But, you know, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah hell yeah. Shit, that's I can what, tell you. That's what teaches us our lessons. So, this this bar has two stages. We're playing outside. Yeah. Right? Really? Yep. Yeah. yeah so, they have an inside stage and then they have an outside, which is all ages. That, are are um, all of you guys playing outside? Yep. Nice. Oh, oh fuck. They're yeah. actually having another show inside, apparently. Oh, oh no! I were to understand that they are a hip hop and or rap. I no, honestly, I honestly I like outside shows better because it's hard on the ears, bro. Yeah, oh yeah. The inside is uh, gets a little you loud. Wear earplugs. Well, Tammy I, wears earplugs. I don't I even wear, know what you're saying right what? now because it's a boomer boomer, boomer, boomer <laughs> basically. <laughs> I can barely depict your words. I played in bands for 30 years, so. Well, like. All I can hear is. Man, <laughs> I went to the Deftones last uh, July. Oh, they're a great band. Uh, wait a minute, was it last? No, 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 it was two years ago. Nice. And uh, we were right down in the mosh pit. It was when uh, Thrice, Deftones, and Rise Against came. Nice. To, uh, the, uh, I think it was the USANA. Yeah. And uh, my sister and I, we went to that, dude, and we were right down in the fucking mosh pit, dude. And I'm like, I'm nervous, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Don't be shoving me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to get shoved in the mosh pit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, they'll push you around a little bit. But it's a damn tough but no, Well, like, yeah, I mean, oh, fuck. Yeah. What do you expect? We've been in Slayer and Pantera. Dude, plastic. like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude. Deftones man, I was like, like suplexing people <laughs> like twice my size, dude. I was like, fuck, this is fun. No wonder why they do it. You Your beat the fuck out of people. Yeah. Fuck, man. But, but nowadays, I feel every piece of that. <laughs> I don't even get the mosh pit anymore. You know what? I'll tell you one thing, though. Wait till the insurance kicks in. I'll tell you one thing that I noticed, I though, man. When I was at that concert, there was this chick in front of me with the biggest ass and the most gorgeous curly hair I've ever seen. And I was like, oh, yeah. God damn. Can, can I stand behind you the whole time? <laughs> what we like to call the big booty judies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cases. Well, I don't know if you know this, but I have what, um, what I call the ass meter. Yeah. yeah. For girls, like, I, I, I put my thumb, I put my thumbs together kind of like the hang loose side. Yeah. Here, and the ass has to fit in there. In order for it to be, and it can and it can widen out yeah, a little wiggle bit. Room, here, but, but he is not for the big booty Judy. What He's the hell? A... Oh, so you like the porcelain doll? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, it's, you know, or it's, I mean, you shake know. it, don't break it, right? dude. <laughs> all types are fun. Don't get me wrong. Sex is sex. Yep. But uh, there's nothing, and I mean nothing, like the big booty Judy. <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. I'd like, yeah. I don't I mean, know, like, you don't know. Like, I'm going to pass up dessert. You know, <laughs> dessert? Dude, that's my main course, man. <laughs> like, yeah. maybe I'll have one of them, like, little, like, cabbage patches for dessert. But for the main course, I want fucking basketball <laughs> bunny. Yeah. Basketball bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Man, dude, I... We keep getting off track. Yeah, we do. We're just <laughs> <starting. laughs> this is everything we do. Is everything reminds us. Well, see, well, see, really, well, Teddy butts, of course. Oh, dude. So yeah, this concert. <laughs> Those are always okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the concert, yeah. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're playing music today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had uh, Tammy's gonna fill in on yeah. bass for us today. Sick. And we have two ba- rotating bass players. Already. Neither one of them could make it today. So <laughs> really? Now we've got Tammy traveling with us. We figured, hell, you're in. Yeah, really, man. Yep. May as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Get off the bench. Get in there. Nady showed me the songs two hours ago. <laughs> man, I'll tell you what, dude. I was digging that band Better Days, man. I was... Oh, hell yeah. Dude, Aww. dude. I was the loving that, man. Yay. Tammy's the, the singer, you know. <laughs> Yeah. And Tammy sings oh, beautifully. Yeah. Thank you. You are welcome here. We did the uh, podcast <clears throat> last, the last time. Yeah, oh, dude, it was, it was so much fun. Show. And then, I gotta tell you, dude, it was such a trip, man. While you guys were up on stage, there was people walking by, shaking my hand. They're going, Are you the Casey from that group? Can I get you a drink? Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, 
Dude. <laughs> Good to be king. I wish I had that luck. luck. I need that luck today. I need it somebody is. to buy me a drink. Dude, I would love it, man. Hell yeah. I'll tell you what, if nobody else does, I will because I just got my check. So yeah. fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> You just became my new best friend. Uh, right, so, well, I was Such hoping we already were. <laughs> you put whiskey right on that and just take Oh, dude, dude. You just bring those out. Dude, just please. give me a shot of brandy and a glass AMW and I'm cool, man. Yeah, yeah, Fucking yeah, yeah. A, I tell you what, dude. Guy right. Oh, yeah. Brandy, huh? Brandy. Christian Brothers Brandy. Hell yeah. Mix it in with a little AMW. I've never <laughs> had either of those things. You got to mix them together. Dude, it's what? badass. It's badass. Like it's like if anything, if you mix it together and you, you know and you mix it right, it's like spiced root beer. And wow. if you like root beer the way I do, like I'm a root beer connoisseur, dude. Like nice. I had this root beer called Teddy's out in Portland, Oregon, and I've never found it here. I've looked everywhere for it, and I can't fucking find it anywhere. Nice. But I Best spent root beer ever, huh? Oh yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I spent four months out in Portland about six years ago. Yeah. And had the best time of my fucking life, dude. We had homemade root beer. There was like, they it's like they have home breweries out there, dude, and the beer is like twelve percent alcohol. Nice. Wow. You know? Oh, dude, and I'm sitting out there drinking beer like I do here, and I'm all fucked up, and I've already already drank like six. <laughs> so if you people hear that out there, Casey's selling Terry's root beer. I mean, yeah. literally, he's selling it hey, to us right the, now. We want to taste dude, this shit, dude. I have some friends out there. Bring it here. Yeah, We're really. In Utah. Send us a shit. Come on, dude. Really? He can be our what, what makes what makes the the root, root beer. Root beer. What is it's a uh, sarsaparilla root. There's yeah, an it's it's. Um, yeah, it's I think it was sas- discovered in like the 1800s, man. Sarsaparilla, like they drank yeah. in the old west. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. And um, like the the original Sasper way you Miller. make root beer, you know, like with the dry ice and shit. Yeah. Like my grandparents do that, and then they make fucking homemade ice cream, and ba bam! Oh, dude! Yeah. Oh, oh my god! See, every like, summer, oh, every it's summer. Be an out west thing, like you know, being from back east, they, we didn't have sarsaparilla. Oh really? I don't even know what yeah, they call them black cows. Is. I just know really. That. Oh. Yeah, they had we had to call everything something different. Oh. Really. <laughs> Yeah, it was us from Chicago. Chicago? Nope. I like Chicago. that, man. I got a lot of friends out in Chicago, matter of fact. Cool. I got a buddy of mine, Tony, yeah, you know, that blind metal musician. He's out in Michigan. That, that one guy? Right. Yeah. The one blind guy? That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one blind guy, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know him, but, you know. It could, could be. He probably knows well, I love friends. metal, so. Dude, um, metal, he probably knows my buddies. They're all dude, metal. Dude, you have yeah. to look him up, man. He's got two YouTube channels, and, like, he's 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 working on his third album, man. He's a sick what musician. What um, Just, uh, it's just him. Uh, his name's Tony Gebhard. Tony Gebhard. And he's, he's so good, dude. And we've been buddies for, like, ten years, and we ran a business together and everything, dude. And it nice. was, oh, man, like... He's he is the greatest dude, and he's gonna be a part of this event too. As a matter of fact, he was in this pro wrestling stuff with us. Like he had a league for a while. Nice. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. And he, yeah, man, he's it's dude. Like he's way into it. He and I are doing some cross promotional work this month before uh, the event next month to uh, hype up one of his stars. It's gonna be uh, in our opening bout nice. uh, next month. Hell yeah. So we, uh, you know, we're really excited about that. Uh, Fuck, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, okay. Sauce, let me see that. What you got over there? Booze. <laughs> what the fuck? Margaritaville, huh? Oh, dude. Your kids are going to beat us up. Dude. Oh, Jimmy <laughs> Buffett. Kids. Where's the Your kid? You know, <laughs> we have to have the kids in the band because we can't find band members anymore. <laughs> that is true. And now we're running out of bass players. I know. Dude. And three of them are right in the here, band. Yeah. I'm right here. Actually, well, four or five of them are in the band. Really? <laughs> we're all yeah. bass players. Yeah. Except Nady. Nady, Nady, Nady don't play, play bass. bass. He plays but drums I mean, he, and guitar. He didn't guitar. start playing bass. Yeah, he ain't so in a band bad. playing bass. Right. We've all been Yeah, we've all players. been in bands so, playing bass. So, so but like, That's I mean. one thing is, he hasn't got I'm listening. to yet. Well, I mean, like, every, everybody obviously plays different instruments, right? It's not just like a big bass band, is it? No. No. Okay, no. I, was just, I was just thinking, I'm like, that might sound a little we weird. Numerous. Yeah, because and I was going to say. In different uh, <laughs> bands, like, all, we have this group of really talented people. That nice. We all, 
we're, we're it's different music, but we all right. get to play um, in different bands. Sometimes I like to call the music coal or musicians yeah. coalition. It's like, yeah, there you go. It's yeah, it's better. Like it's the way you know, you invite all your friends and just play the music you want to hear. Oh yeah, shit yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah so, heck yeah. And that's basically you know. Like, well, I need a bass player. Oh, this guy right. over here. I need a drummer. Well, this guy over here. And, and then the next thing you know, you're booked every night yeah. because you're in four bands. Yeah, right. <laughs> and this is the state of the art 1976. Yeah. UTA City Buds. UTA City Buds. <laughs> uh, UTA Titty Buds. We have everything. Yeah. Titty Buds, City Buds. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Go. Can I ride? Yeah. <laughs> Here we have go. a little saying with the buckets. It started a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, plug <laughs> at, June Jam. at June Jam. Oh, when yeah. we played that yeah. with the Cat Brothers and uh, uh, the Hotel La Motel. Nothing special. Let me make sure this is charging. Just one second. Okay, I think we're on. Are we on? Okay, yes, we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's getting old, man. Now I need we're a new, back. Yeah. I need a new digital recorder, dude. This thing's getting old. Fucking, uh, I, I like the sad. Everything that came out. It is. I've had it for like walk, yeah. almost ten years. Yeah, that was worth every penny. Oh, dude, Good I'm shit. telling you, this thing, man, fuck ya. This, especially because it was like four hundred bucks, man. Wow. <laughs> so is this a live thing we're doing right now? No, 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 no. This is a digital. It's just a digital recorder. Oh. Um, I'll uh, clean this up later. I'm picturing people laughing at our. Not <laughs> 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 right away. Then mom's gonna call <laughs> yeah. it. That's right. Yeah. He's like, no. oh, I heard you. I was taking calls. I heard you say titty butts. <laughs> no, dude. No, dude. Like anything can be spliced out of this, man. Like, because nice. I take it and edit it all later and like doctor That's it. Good in case you like, yeah, cut out the jackassery. Uh, uh, like exactly. So it will be a short podcast. <laughs> it will definitely be a very short exactly podcast. ten minute podcast. <laughs> exactly. Right. That's basically, we have a PhD in jackasses. Yeah. We Dude, actually I love that word. <laughs> I use that word all the time. Jackassery. Jackassery. You should hang out because <laughs> and fuckery. You will, I like will that urry. Describe it to you in many different forms. Dude. And sometimes we get hurt doing it. Man, oh, so like Cheerio. Oh yeah. Okay, I like Harley this. must have just robbed a gas station because this is our drummer Harley. Apparently he robbed the gas station. Oh, He's got a <laughs> more sandwich. sandwich. Man, We're all starving. And some more beer. sandwich. More sandwich. He came right into the podcast, brother. Right that's on. The oh, yeah. too. Can I spit some of that on the sandwich? That's for Nady. <laughs> Wipe it all over him. Slather this guy. Mm. Glad he came in at the right time. He yeah. Did. yeah. Beer's cold. Would you like a beer, brother? Yes, sir, I right would. There, as a matter brother. of fact, thank you, sir. There's a I would table like, right I here. I would like four beers. beers. Right on. You don't get four beers. Hell yeah, so folks. Find my plastic knife. Live on the podcast, we got beer. We got beer. We got Harley. We got refreshments. We got Nady. <laughs> we got beer. And we've got some uh, overworked musicians. <laughs> Dude, we only been at it three days. <laughs> <laughs> but if you could smell this bus right now, it smells like we've been at it for like months. It's like, good it's God, how many it. smelly asses could you fit in one bus? Uh, so far, five. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's the guy that shows up, he's showered, fucking yeah, looking Casey good. Yeah, Casey smells good. All... He smells better than the rest of us, for sure. He no, did. dude, like, I can't keep my fucking hair out of my damn face, dude. Oh, the owner of the bar, he walked up. He's like, oh, let me check out your buzz. He was like, walked oh, up on the like, like, oh, cool. Then he just left. Yeah. Like, hey, the look, wall look of good, smell. He had tears <laughs> coming out of his eyes as he walked away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Harley. <laughs> Thank you, Harley. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh, no yeah. Beer is good for the soul. Beer is good and Do stuff. Want a knife mm. or a sandwich? Oh, let me go Dude, find I'm a I'm telling knife. you, man. You don't have beer. You don't have nothing. Yeah. I you know it's gonna be really good. November. You wanna know why? Oh, it's your birthday. Yes. It's my birthday. Yes. And for our birthday, oh. they're gonna make three two beer a thing in the past. Yes. I know. So oh, I'm excited. That means it's we're drinking get history. Do you know where Thanks. the knife was? Dude. It was right here. Y'all, it's in my back. We have got to all get together that night. We got to get some bands together that night, dude. 
we got to go somewhere and hang out and celebrate this three two well, beer. Normally, normally I have a big party at my place in November. Yeah, Dude. We do a big old uh, oh, bring man. in the hoot Oh or, man! Or like we like to call it a ho- heavy bucket hoedown. Oh, that sounds fucking epic. Oh, that sounds fucking epic. Or the heavy bucket hoedown. Dude, man, I can bring something to cook too. Like I'm an excellent fucking cook. Oh yeah, cook, make it a pot, man. Oh yeah, hell yeah. That'd be awesome. Dude, you know what we could do? Oh my god, I got it. Uh-oh. I could bring one of those fucking elk roasts, dude. We could broil it. Okay, there you go. Oh, man. Yeah. Dude. I, wish I still had some. I shot an elk a couple yeah, years ago. Really nice, yeah. dude. I have a roast about as long as my fucking arm in the freezer. Nice. It's a big old son bitch. Yeah, Harley and his, yeah. Harley's dad actually fills in on base for Nice, nice. But they hooked us up this last, last fall, man. Nice. A bunch of... Uh, Elk meat. Oh hell yeah, dude! Like, I, dude, I love wild game, elk, oh, yeah. deer, pheasant. My I parents, love that shit. My parents been uh, big, big hunters my whole life. Yeah, dude, my family's that way too, man. And I got a bunch of it from uh, my cousin Seth because his wife and kids don't eat it. Yeah. And they had a whole fucking deep freezer full. So me and Katie went over there to pick up their fucking three trash bags full of that son bitch. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm like, fuck yeah, man. You know, like, you know, there's like eight packages of burger. There's like six packages of steaks. There's like fucking eight no. roasts. And I'm I've like, got Tommy from Kamikaze's calling me. I gotta step out. Oh. I'm not here. Well, hey, tell him I said hey. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back in just a minute, man. Howdy, y'all. We're back live on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I stopped recording. I don't know why, because we were having a damn good conversation. Man, yeah, dude, I love vinyl, man. Vinyl records are just so cool, because I remember my great-grandparents having them when I was a kid, man. And You know, because I grew up, you know, we had cassettes still. Mm-hmm. Cassettes, um, they're good, but the problem is they degrade. They do. They do, and you have to get them before they degrade to a point where you can't digitally <laughs> convert them. Yeah. Um, or they have to be very taken care of and not used much. But records are cool because they're very interactive. Yeah, and so you get this. You get. You have to be like cool. Like, I Tommy says he loves all of us. Nice. I had a Casey. He was fucking thrilled to death that <laughs> Casey's here with us. Oh, nice! Like, no <laughs> fucking way! <laughs> like, yeah, he's here. We're fucking getting yeah. his ass drunk. Yeah. <laughs> She's like. You tell that motherfucker he's a crazy son of a bitch. (laughs) Fucking good to know that all my friends are together. Man, I love that guy. Oh, man, I love that guy, man. Tommy's cool as fuck, man. Dude, like, I go in there, clap him on the shoulder, shake his hand every time I see him. That dude's a brother, man. I've worked at that bar for 15 years. Nice. I quit four times. Oh, shit. I would come back to visit, be like, so, you work tonight, like, I would just, I'm like, I guess, Tommy, I don't even know. I'm, I'm here on vacation. <laughs> but I guess I can work for you while I'm here, you know? Right. That's yeah. How been for last, Definitely. Uh, how long? Hey, man, uh, again, well, man, like, if I didn't before, man, I appreciate this beer, y'all. It's, oh, yeah, uh, no problem, man. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's tasty. I appreciate it also. Absolutely. Yeah, man. No Thank problem. you, Harley. He's the beer bringer today. Harley. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I need some. That's the thing. That's how Sauce ended up joining the band. Was he was the sound guy at Kamikaze? Yeah, nice. And we're sitting there playing a song, and I can hear harmonica coming through the PA, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" I look up there in the balcony, and there's there's Sauce playing harmonica. Dude, um, I met. Can you do this? Um, he goes by Dildo at Kamikaze's, but his name's actually Dylan. Yeah. He is the coolest fucking dude. Like, he's there every weekend doing karaoke. You know him? Yeah, hey, you guys get more. I'm, you know who I'm, I'm talking about, right? No, I'm stuffed. I think uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, man. Um, he lives in the terrace, man. As a matter of oh, fact, really? yeah, he don't live too far from Johnny. Um, that's where Johnny lives. Oh, and as a matter of fact, this coming weekend, check this out. Evil Blood festivities for this year's event start this weekend. Johnny and I will be doing the Hall of Fame ceremony this Saturday. Is that Kamikaze's? Nope. We're doing that over at Johnny's place with nice. professional microphones and audio equipment. Our buddy downstairs has got some real nice headphones and some real nice mics. Oh, yeah. And we make a really nice sounding Hall of Fame ceremony out of it. 
and we have dinner. You know what I mean? John John opens wine. You know, it's a really nice thing, wow. dude. And then, you know, and I mean, like that. You know, that too is also why I'm just so glad to have you guys be a part of this this year because, like, this means everything to me and Johnny, dude. Like this oh, yeah. pro wrestling stuff, dude. This is everything to me and Johnny. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, we're 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 uh, doing some uh, music for it. We're we're playing at the at the event. Essentially, yeah. We 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 take music and we splice it in. We add crowd. We make it sound echoey. We add in pyro, so it sounds live and just cool as fuck. It's pretty badass. Can we add explosions? Like yeah. Add, oh, yeah. Definitely. Can we add? Fuck yeah. Some pyrotechnics. Going we can add anything you want, Hell chief. Yeah. I can add anything you want, chief. Not a problem. Hold on one sec. Hello. Hey, yeah. Uh, who's this? Casey. It's Brad. Hey, Brad. Hey, what's going on, brother? Dude, dude, dude. You are right here in the podcast, my man. What's going on? Dude, I am doing fantastic. I'm here with the Heavy Buckets, and we are waiting on a lost asylum, and we're going to get this shit started. We're eating sandwiches, yeah, drinking beer. <laughs> man, dude, life is great, man. You know, considering all the crap I had to go through for the past couple of years, man, I'm successful, you know, I'm you know, I'm doing great. I'm not a dollar richer, but, you know, who cares, man? It's Success like, is measured by your riches. Dude, like, my podcast is blowing up all over the fucking place. I can't walk into a restaurant without someone asking me, are you Casey? Hell and yeah, I'm like, man, that's fucking awesome. That's cool. So, like, we don't serve the homeless. <laughs> well, home. you know, right well, you know, I figure it like this, man. Like, I figure, like, I got enough against me as it is. I may as well try and make something of myself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, dude, how the heck are you, bro? It's good to hear from you, man. I'm doing really good. I'm just smoking some pork right now. Nice. Hell yeah. You need to save some for me, buddy. I'll tell you what, man. I'll trade you some elk. I got some elk meat at the house. Okay. We've got a collar on like yeah, this. I was going to ask you. Um, <laughs> who are we you talking back to? From Salt Lake? Um, I will be back from... I'll be back from Salt Lake on Monday. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's been he's been brothers with Casey. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So probably sometime tomorrow. Um, if you want, you're more than welcome. to come to a lot of my shows too. What? Oh, I'm sorry, man. It's kind of breaking up a little bit. What? Not last time. Oh, you're good. Okay, I think this is better now. Come over and have that barbecue and some beer. Dude, um, anytime you want me to, man, I can come over tomorrow afternoon if you'd like. I mean, um, I won't be off work. Till about three thirty. So if you want, I'll, I can probably come pick you up after work. Sounds. And, uh, take you back home later. Good sounds good, unless you know, like a different day be better for you. And sandwich too. Uh, honestly, anytime during the week. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, let's let's plan on tomorrow afternoon then. Um, do you want me to get um, a roast? Um, I have a roast, or I got hamburger. Um, if you want, you get whatever you want me to cook, and I'll make it. Um, tell you what, um, I'll get a roast, but I don't know exactly what time I'm going to be home, so it might still be hard, um, because I didn't really, you know, prep for that, but, um, yeah, yeah. you know, it's, well, it's... You want, we do Tuesday after Doesn't matter to me, man. This is nice and thawed. Yeah, if you want to do... Well... Tuesday night, well, I'll tell you what, man. Let's do it Tuesday because that'll give me time to get the meat unthawed and, you know, maybe I can make some some rub. You know, I can make some marinade for it or something like that. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I think I'll put it in a little baby raise, you know, maybe a shot or two of brandy and uh, make a little marinade sauce and fucking A. Hell yeah, it does, man. Like, you know, me and you will tear it up, man. Um, I just got my check too, so you know if we want to get some beer or something. Yeah, I'll check. pick you up Tuesday. We'll yeah, yeah. So cook that meat and we'll uh, grab some beer. I'm down. Heck yeah, brother. Hey, um, also, um, if you're down, dude, um, you and I need to uh, have some chatting to do, man, because we got big projects coming up, dude, and. 
I really want to talk to you about some of this stuff. So I'm super excited we're doing this too. I mean, like if we can get time to do that. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. All right, buddy. You bet. Arctic Brad says hi, man. Hi. Hi, Bradley. What's up, Brad? Bad, bad Brad. <laughs> yeah, dude, like it totally threw me off, man, because you know when 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 he said that you know he knew you and that you was his neighbor, I was like, what? He's like, you know, Brad. I says, yeah, man, Brad's my brother, man. We grew up together. <laughs> Shit, hey, man, it's a small world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, man. Fucking N dude, Nate. Nate is going to be a part of our pro wrestling event this year with uh, me and Clinton and Johnny, man. Cool. So we're we're doing the Hall of Fame ceremony this year. Uh, Nate, um, Nate, and the Heavy Buckets are donating their music to this project this year. We're starting with the Hall of Fame ceremony this weekend. And we're doing the event next month. So that's one reason why we're doing this podcast. So, fucking A, man. <clears throat> Sorry, what's that? All right, buddy. Sounds good, man. We'll talk to you soon, Brad. All right, buddy. Love you. Bye. Nice. Hell yeah. Dude, you know what? Actually, the crazy thing about Brad is, I'm going to tell you a secret. What's that? Go there wouldn't be a pro wrestling that we do without Brad Bailey. Really? Nope. Brad and I started it, at least on our side. Clinton and John started on their side, but Brad right. and I got it started right. on our side. Hell yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We're going to go do a sound check. Right on, you dude. You want to come out with us? Yes, sir. Uh, let me... Let me uh... Folks, we'll be back soon yeah. with the second half of this podcast. Howdy, boys and girls! It is your old pal Casey, the best-looking brunette on the Hell fucking yeah. planet, baby. Oh. And we've got under one roof, right here, a lost asylum, my brothers and sisters, and we got the heavy buckets all under one roof in the A Little Bit of Everything podcast. Man, I have worked so hard to get you fuckers on my fucking podcast for over a year, dude. Justin. Yeah. Well, you know. Life is life, Casey. Life is life, but you know what? God damn it. You got to take 10 minutes and appreciate the feathers of life. Hey, you know, sometimes when you're in high demand, Casey, you're just in high demand, man. I know that. <laughs> believe me. Believe me. I know that because everyone's lining up to be on this podcast, dude, and I'm just like, dude. Well, we're glad to be here. Dude, man, I am super glad to be here, you know, and I'm, dude, like, okay, so I'm going to get ultra serious here for just a sec, man. Don't do it. Just don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Dude, like, I really appreciate all you guys fucking being here on this podcast, man, because it's like, man, like... Fucking rock and roll! Fucking A, baby! <laughs> fucking A, baby! Rock and roll! Woo! That's what it's all about. Okay, so, let's chat, boys and girls. Now, the way my podcast goes, it has no specific direction. We do exactly what we're doing right now. We're sitting here drinking. We're bullshitting. That's exactly what we do, man. We have no set direction. Like, how boring would it be if I were to sit here and go, Okay, so, what's this and this and that? You know what I mean? We don't want to do that. Whatever you want to do, man. Let's just fucking sit here and just chat, man. Dude, okay, so... The show tonight, man. Nate, I have never heard the Heavy Buckets live until tonight, man. I nice. got to tell you, Nate, man, I am honored you guys want to have something to do with our wrestling product. Uh, yeah. Dude, okay. Oh, also, man, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say right now, man, so A Lost Asylum and the Heavy Buckets both going to have something to do with our product this year, dude. It's Evil Blood 2019. We have a 14 match card. We have seven different performances. Our Hall of Fame ceremony is going to be this coming Saturday. And dude, I mean, listen, like I know it's it's 
it's probably not everybody's cup of tea, but like it means everything to me and Johnny and Clinton and everybody who has ever had anything to do with this wrestling shit we do. There's 20 years of history of this shit that we've done over the years, man, and it means the world to us. Let me that ask you this. Any chance we can make it a 15 match? Me and Holly go head to head. The end. Oh man! You better pay me some money, man. You better pay me some money. But 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 I will say right now, right here, right now, that that but 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 I like them big but butts. Titty butts. Oh yes, sir. Wait, but exist now. But titty butts on this card. That's been our catch. On this card. We on, actually have people that yeah. get titty butts when we're a, playing. On this card right here <laughs> Crazy. is our event from last year. Take that, brother. Oh, yeah. Got it. Um, I will take that back whenever. I don't need it back immediately. So if you need to keep it for a while, you can. Uh, but, I have an uh, card reader on my computer, so I'll just pop it in there nice. and pull the shit off. And then you can have it back. Hell yeah. Um, but, uh, man, like I'm, I'm just, dude, like me and Johnny... And Clinton, we're super honored to have you guys here. Johnny is going in our 2019 Hall of Fame this year. I was inducted last year. Clinton was uh, put in our 2012 um, Hall. And, I mean, like, I have to ask you guys, like, um, A Lost Asylum was at our show last year. And um, if you guys want, I can let you take a peek at that. Yeah, let's hear it. But, uh, man, I really want to ask you guys, like... Real quick, man. It's like, it's it's our biggest show of the year. We have we have grown from a couple of people with a cassette Walkman to this huge digital conglomerate, man. And yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, dude. And like all of you guys, <laughs> dude. dude like, dude. All of you guys get to be a part of this. All of us, me, you guys, Johnny, Clinton, all of us. I have 14 matches to commentate on. Well, well, wait, is Blake going to be there too? Uh, Blake will be there to host our Hall of Fame ceremony this Saturday. (laughs) I say we put out Clay. I I don't know the guy, but... I don't really know Clay. Hey, 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 hey. (laughs) Clinton and I... Clinton and I have been... Hey, hey, hey. Clinton and I... new names at us. Listen, listen, listen. Clinton and I have been best friends for over 26 years. Over 26 man. years, man. I can't I fucking write him out, dude. I can't, man. Like, dude. Oh, no, don't dude, fucking write him dude, out. Dude, don't listen to us. Dude, you Clinton, got loyalty dude, to this guy. Dude, Clinton, if Clinton you're right now, listen, just listen, that's pretty awesome. Clinton, Clinton listen, man. Cl- listen, man. Clinton was at my brother's funeral, man. I can't. Like, write him out. I can't. I, I have Clinton. not met Clinton. You met Clinton? Yeah. Like, yeah. I've met Johnny. Yeah. I met Blake. Yeah. But I haven't met Clinton. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, Justin's met Clinton before. Me and Clinton yeah, yeah. stayed at his house. Nice. Me and Justin go back to Snow College. Yeah, you keep, Me and Justin are old buddies from way back fans, when. Man. 2009, man. Those oh, my people, God, man. dude. I'm telling you, man. It will be with you forever, man. You know, you know what, though, man? Like, I'm, it's, dude, I'm so dude. excited, man. You guys. That was, like, you're that was a three, soul. really? Yeah. Yeah. She judged right. that as a three. It, dude. Yeah, man. I, fucking, I dude, I'm super excited, man. I'm super excited. So, if you guys want to take a peek at this, I can <laughs> fucking. Don't show us your wiener. Hey. Why not? It's bigger than yours. Oh. You can neither confirm nor deny that. Let me tell you something, boss. This is an audio podcast. It's about time we all do shot. <laughs> we can oh, wrestle yeah. over that. I know, Casey I could probably out his <laughs> play jump rope with that thing. <laughs> play <laughs> Evil Blood 2018 Casey. playlist. Hey, if we're dropping dimes, hold on. Zip. James, we've seen it all. <laughs> hold on. Okay, Never listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> tell me how this sounds. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Holly. Listen, listen. And this is your opening theme. And so Johnny opens it up. Now, I can I can skip forward to the live performance we made. Welcome to 
So, so I come up here in a second. Hold on. So I'm coming up here in a sec. Listen, listen. Here I come. Right here. Full on pro mode. Okay, so you can start doing UFC. Like, yeah. yeah dude, like, dude, dude, dude. Dude. I dude. Dude. I work my fucking ass off, dude. I work my fucking ass off to try and make it sound as good as possible. And I'll show you what your live performance sounded like. Hang on. Next track. Next track. Next track. I have to skip forward a bunch of tracks. This was a seven and a half hour event. Wow. Yeah. Dude. 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 I'm not kidding you. Listen. I work my fucking ass off. I bust my ass to make sure this shit sounds as good as possible. Here we go. Listen to this. Yes. Listen. 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 Listen to this. Listen to this. And I produced this. I produced this. Listen, 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 man. Listen, man. Man, listen, man. Pyro. I want some of that shit going on with the bike. You got it, dude. Listen. I've never had no pipe. Here we go. Shit going yeah. on. And then it kicks <laughs> on. And then it kicks on right here. Fucking awesome. What are we doing? Oh, that was it's when James was on guitar. Right here. And then the crowd kicks in right here. It's live. I'm impressed you could do that, dude. Well, dude. Okay, it's insane that Tristan and Alex helped you guys out because I've known Alex for like 25 years. Tristan's an amazing producer, man. He is. He is. I literally used to fucking play in, in Alex's. Now, basement. tell me that shit ain't badass. Is that Alex? Yeah. Alex is like the one who knows like the kung fu. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah, he's, he's like, like an true. actor and shit. I don't know. Oh, that's a crazy cool that's, shit. That's crazy what Alex is. Oh yeah, and Tristan. Too. Yeah, I'm alive. We played a lot of shows with them oh, yeah, years, really years ago. Tristan, Tristan, and like, then I, I knew Alex. You guys want to? If you guys have an album you want to get produced, Tristan is the fucking guy. To oh go yeah. yeah, oh yeah, he's yeah. so good. Yeah, they were so they were good. sitting in here earlier tonight and and was showing us some of the your guys' stuff. And he's oh, like, really? Check this out. And I'm like, Holy Nate, shit. you you yeah, he killed it. Like, yeah, fuck, you, you, guys you said you wanted man. like pyro oh, or like explosions awesome. or shit or fuck yeah we do. Dude, okay, so you like, tell me what you want, dude. Like dude, I have over a hundred gigs of sound effects. Go off the whole <laughs> I have over a hundred gigs of sound effects. You tell me what you want. Boom 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 baby boom yeah. yeah. No, we need real pyro. <laughs> we need the we need the real fucking thing. So fucking oh, yeah. Big old yeah. fucking flamethrowers and shit. Like if I get ever, I got you, dude. Place I got you, dude. Handle that, then I. I got you, dude. Would, but <laughs> I got you, man. I don't want. Time. I don't want the great white thing happening. You know. There you go. Was, like was that Utah hole. that it happened to? Yeah. yeah. It was Rhode Island. Was it? Yeah. They, they burned the club down. Yeah. <laughs> the whole club burned down. Oh shit! Like, you need people. to get your harmonica yeah. player. Yeah. yeah. It was supposed to be like that. Yeah. And they had fucking phone <laughs> shit. It's like all oh, petroleum fucking yeah. shit. Oh just shit. Blew Everyone up. run. Run. <laughs> they said it, it pressurized <laughs> within like six minutes to where oh, man. break the window up. No shit. Yeah. That'd be a horrible way. Oh yeah, dude. Start turn your harmonica player into a fucking flamethrower. Yeah, dude, oh, oh, that'd be <laughs> sick. <laughs> that'd be so sick, dude. I'm telling you. That'd be sick ass, as fuck. Dude. Hey. <laughs> He's all, I cinched my dick hair. Yeah, what the fuck? We're doing a podcast. Man, I'm excited to have you guys on, man. I'm, fuck. All right, you guys. Oh, yeah. There. We'll see you soon. Well, you know. Christmas Day, man. Sorry. Christmas Day. In June.
Yeah, in June, goddamn. When I lost my virginity. The last day of June. <laughs> June? What do you think oh, about that didn't. shit? I'm thinking about He's doing it in one day. <laughs> James, James, I got a question for you. Congratulations, brother. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It is. It is. <laughs> James, James, James. You gotta start on the butt stuff. James, I got a question for you. Yes. What happened to that cool fucking leather jacket you guys had? I still got jackets, dude. I just gonna wear it tonight. He said jacket. You got dang hippie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I have a... Uh, Hold on. I don't have a leather jacket either. It's a denim jacket. Oh, someone's knocking on the door, Casey. It's, it's Hank Hill. Well, how the hell are you, boy? <laughs> 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 so okay, so so um. Just close your eyes. You, you um. Oh, it's definitely Hank Hill, man. So. God, I wish we had Bobby. Dude, okay, so can I ask you guys a favor, real quick? Yeah. So can we get some comments about our product, real quick? Because Johnny and I are shooting a documentary. We we are trying to get this documentary done by mid twenty twenty, and. uh we just kind of want to get everybody's thoughts on, like, how do you guys feel about, like, you know... I'll take it right off the bat, man. You know, like, Bam. In, you know, like including your work yeah. with what I do and what Johnny does. And, like, because, like, he and I take it so seriously. You know, and, like, Nate's heard pieces of it. I don't know if you guys have, but, like... You talk about as far as using our music? Yeah. I, the new yeah. album, man. you got to use the new album. Yeah. Well, yeah, push that new album everywhere we can get it. It's where it needs to well, go. Well, I don't have it yet. I know nobody does. It's you, a secret. Well, then, until it drops. Well, then you have to get it to me. <sighs> but then. it'll be out way before 2020. Well, so, <laughs> well, yeah. But okay, so like Nate, yeah, you've heard pieces of our stuff. Yes, I what have. me and Johnny do. Yep. Uh-huh. And uh, I just kind of want to get Sad. your guys' thoughts, like for the documentary, for the podcast. You know what I mean? Like, like. It sounded pretty awesome. Maybe, maybe it's for sentimental reasons more than anything, but it's like, how do you guys feel about, you know, like collaborating with me and with Johnny and, you know, doing, you know, doing things like this, man? Do you want us to write a song specifically for it? You don't have that's to. that's something we could do. You don't have to, but... Oh, that'd be awesome but, as fuck. I'm on but, it, bro. But, but, Evil Blood, right? Yeah. Evil Blood yeah, 2019, man. It, like, that is a it good goes down that's Saturday. Like a good song name already. It goes Power down <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> August third. Yeah, August third. Yeah. Saturday, August third is when we're doing it. Man. We'll get two fucking drummers going. <laughs> no harmonica <shit>. player. <laughs> dude, dude, harmonica player. Dude, Johnny and I, Johnny and Clint and I have drunk people. That's what Johnny and I have done this event <laughs> since August of two thousand three. That's the best. So play. you know, so this yeah, event yeah. has a lot also, of reach. Have you thought about nicknaming your harmonica player harmonica? So player? no, his name we is have boss. fucking it's like, like the most glorious name already. That we nice. have he's like fucking boss. So tried to get our I mean, shit out there for a long yeah, time, yeah. dude. Like no, he's, he's taking us starting from the cassette he had a, he, he days. Gotta, you know what I mean? No, it's one man. of those things where you man, love to do it, so you just do it, man. Like exactly, man. Like evil blood. Evil Blood what goes back to August of '03, and we we just you know like oh, he's maybe people so would notice it, maybe they wouldn't, like but we, were, we work hard. We, were we work hard, and we get our shit out there That's my son. over and over until someone sees it. Uh, you know what I'm go. saying? There you go. They, you know, they wrote in the you know, same thing in the music biz, man. Yeah, man. You know, well, you know, and dude, uh, you know, I mean, you know, like, and you've known me longer than anybody here, dude. You know, and you know how I think, and you know how I operate. You know what I'm saying? Like, you work on it until you get it done. That's a baller. That's just. I was like, sometimes you play a show and there's five people. Other times you play a show and there's five hundred. You know, and you just. It don't matter. You love what you do, so you just. Do it. Exactly. Uh, exactly, man. Like, and like, I don't care if two people are interested or two hundred. Like, it's like it's because I love doing it. Exactly. I want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what's up? I mean, I went from playing guitar Sounds to playing bass boss. to playing drums because I wanted to do music, and that's what. I mean, do. look, man. Like, I mean, look, Justin, man. Like, you know, like, and this goes back to like me and you. You know, like being friends like decades ago, dude. Like. 
fucking I really up. appreciate you no, helping me what? and my yeah. buddies with this yeah. project, yeah. dude. Like, I, I do. Bass in his well, I really do. And, you know, it's, Navy, it's fucking giants. not really a big deal. You're the one that does all the work. Yeah. We just got to fuck. We're writing the music anyway, so. Well, and you know what, though, dude? Like, it's a big deal to me because you guys are involved, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, We're like, happy to be there. We're happy to be well, there. So. Yep. Because, like, I've worked <laughs> since 2005 to publish this shit. 127 cassettes from 05 to 09, just, just in the first four years, man. And, like, you know, you work hard. You get your shit done. You know what I'm saying? Like, and... I figured, like, if you know, if the shoe is on the other foot, that's all you would ask of me, and that's all I'm doing. Like, all I'm asking is for music. Hey, all I got to do is play the drums, man. Holly's the one that really matters, dude. That is so untrue. <laughs> you know, split the vocal parts. So you know, like, but dude, she's dude, she's got, like this angelic voice. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, oh yeah. yeah. I just go. Yeah. Blah. Basically, like I tell people all the time, I'm like, I'm the fat guy yelling at you. <laughs> Basically, I introduced the band. I'm yeah, like, but you know what? Are all I love that so fat guy, man. He's a good dude, do. man. Yeah, and then I just sit there and go, bang, 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 <laughs> and fucking yell at you. Those pinch harmonics are pretty sweet, man. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, man. Fucking nailed those you. pinch harmonics. Oh, yeah. yeah, I. Well, you know what, you though, know man? This, like, I, I play the, the ML and everything because yeah. I'm a massive. Panther, Dime fan, you know. There you go. At, with the Randall and everything. Yeah, you got the Granted, Dime I don't, set up. I don't totally go in the same tradition, but I, I keep the, I always have the heavier distortion and the. That's where Nady comes in. He's got kind of got that classic, you know, bluesy sound. Now you guys are like guitar. definitely like a, you guys definitely like a bluesy sound. It's a lot like. Like Leonard Skinner. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I dig, I dig that shit. I dig that shit, man. I'm telling you. Big I mean, and that was that was before you guys back. played Freebird. I was already likening to that. So. Yeah, but, really. <laughs> yeah. We had, we had Tammy. She she just. I play bass in her band. I, I'm in four bands, so I play bass in her band. Is Ripsky Liquormore. I gotta hear more Ripsky of that. Ripsky Liquormore. I gotta hear more of that. The People's Band. The Heavy Buckets, of course, is like my. That's my passion there, but and the better days with Tammy. Oh, you don't have a band called God's Cock? Damn it, that's the God. <laughs> good God, that's the next one I think. <laughs> but I I love every band because they're all unique to different things, you know. And, yeah. And like I kind of suppressed my musical shit for a while, and and then my son's just like you know he plays keys in this band, and then he plays guitar in the people's band I play bass with him and it's like let's go let's just do stuff I used like, to do I used to do the three band thing and then this project that we're in now just really started taking off and we signed to the record label nice. and so I was like well I can either half dedicate myself to three different bands or I can go full in on this band and that's what I just decided to do you know but yeah oh definitely man. this band does the music that I want to play or the other right. band it was like exactly I was just a bass like I was a bass player in uh, Attic in the Attic, and yeah. I, like I was just a bass player, you know. I had to hold that. <laughs> yeah, it, but it's kind of it's kind of fun at the same time because you know you can you can like dedicate your like with me I dedicate myself to one thing, and, but then I get to be a part of these other things that other people have already dedicated themselves to. So I just put. I put my bass parts to them or my guitar parts or whatever it is and I let them drive de- yeah essentially drive the vehicle I just get to be a passenger basically yeah and but with the buckets you know I'm the driver and that's when every, that's when I, the passion I like to comes think in. that everybody's the driver that's when the place. passion in your music comes in though is you you start to feel like okay well I, I have creative <clears throat> control over what we're gonna do here exactly. or at least my part of creative control and so it's like I want to go this direction so you take it that direction and that's where you know then when your product comes out you're like I fucking love this and even if nobody else loves it I love it exactly exactly Exactly. and that's why we do it yeah None of us make enough money to pay for no. you know the beers we drink or the the gas we've used or the you know you know though you could go you could have a hobby, you could have a hobby like golf 
go out and spend just as much money doing golf and yeah. you know like you're not going to get that fulfillment that you get because it's an art music yeah, exactly. is an art and it's like you know you talk any artist understands that but when you fulfill that side of yourself it doesn't <clears> matter if there's money or not involved it's like you're you're exactly. like you're you're feeding your soul almost it's it's basically essentially a drug i've been i've played music for 30 years and it's an addiction to me it's like I, that that feeling of just even one person in the audience going, right? Wow, that's yep. cool, you know. Like, yeah, that that is like bigger and better than anything, really. And it's like, back, it's one of those things where, Yo. like, you do it because you love it, but at yeah. the same time, you have this like thing in the back of your mind where. Sometimes it gets really hard to be in a band, you know, and it's like you're fighting with band members and you got different directions you want to go and you're just like, you tell yourself, okay, well, maybe it's just time to fucking walk away. And then you do, you know, because we've all done it. We walk away for a little while. But then you come back to it and you're like, man, why did I ever quit? And you never understand it. You ask yourself, why the hell did I stop doing this? And then you get to a certain point in life where you're like, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to quit anymore. I'm just going to do this because I love it and, you know fuck all the noise and all the drama and if people want to be drama then you know maybe we're not in the right project together yeah and, exactly you know this band's gone through some members we a bunch dude you know we had a, we had our old drummer he, he got hooked on heroin you didn't even kick James out yet no. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on you can't kick James out yeah, I love that guy you out. can't kick James out a fucking riot James yeah. you're staying you have a Schofield endorsement. You're staying. That's Trust the thing me. is we never we never kicked riot we never kicked here. anybody out. They've like you know they they hoist their opinion and they oh, yeah. they want to put their foot down. It's like right. hey, you know you're one guy in a fucking democracy here. There's five of us and nobody yeah. else wants to do what you want to do. That's, so there has but, you been know. two people that left the band because of me. Though. Yeah, but it's band. it's one of those things where they come and they give you an ultimatum and they say it's either me or James and it's, there's the door. Yeah, you know, because kind of that's attitudes. the beauty of, of what we got in the buckets right now. Is it's like we all play in so many other bands together. Like there's so many entities to what we do together that, and and it's like three of us here, two of us here, two of us there, two of us here. It's like everything that we do, we're in other bands together, which makes it kind of hard for scheduling. But at the most part, we all like each other. And we all, yeah. Essentially, by the, at the end of the day, we, 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 have, all, we all have the same goals, and we respect those goals. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Our, our lineup we have now is the first <clears throat> time in this band. That mm-hmm. it's all been peaceful and everybody wants the same thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. when we signed to when we signed to Pavement, fans uh, it was like okay, so if we're gonna do this, then this is what is expected of everybody, and everybody's been on board 100. percent And you know, we 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 took a step back and we were like, okay, everybody writes songs, and it doesn't matter if 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 the band thinks that the song you wrote sucks or we don't want to use it. Don't get hurt about it, whatever, you know. Sometimes you just write a song that's not good, because not everything you write is going to be good. <coughs> yeah. And we probably came up with 30 songs for the album, and, you know, we got rid of 20 of them. Wow. That's and a lot of them were mine, yeah. a lot of them were Dante's. Gil, Gil just shreds it. He's an excellent musician. That and guy's just fucking, a maniac. Dude. I mean, he's, songwriter. he's so yeah. good. So, like, we ended up using most of his songs, which is, you know, was 100% fine with everybody, because at the yeah. end of the day... We want good music on the album. We want yeah, man. Like, we want our best chance to succeed. Yeah, I mean, like if Gil has that talent, dude, talent. you may as well just use it. You that's know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's exactly. essentially why I'm in so many of the bands that I'm in. I just want I want to up the odds. Like I'm 41, you know. Yeah. And Nate, I got a I question want, for you. I I, I, I want to go somewhere. I, I mm-hmm. don't want to fucking be famous. I don't want to be rich. I just want to make if I can make as much playing music as I could. Being a cashier, Dude, a wall. Oh yeah, it'd be not way having it. to work a like, job anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like, just like, just being just a person that just plays music. I fucking get on a roof every day of my life, and I'm up there sweating my ass off. And every day I'm up there thinking, God, why can't I just fucking drum? Like I don't need to make yeah. a lot of money. I don't need to exactly. make a million dollars. I don't need to. You know, if I could just sell 7,000 albums, you know what I mean? I could survive for three or four months and then go fucking on tour. And, yeah. you know, it's, I'm not asking that much. And, and get a, a, a small following. Yeah, I don't I don't need to be a fucking... Mm. You know, none of us. None of us need to be a everyday home name like Corey Taylor or anything like that. It's just... Yeah, it's Corey Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. You 
you shut your mouth. Man, you shut you your goddamn mouth. You know who it is? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, like, y'all know who it is? He's like once. the Ronnie Radke of hardcore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Just like go outside for a minute and find out who Corey Taylor is. Yes, damn it! Don't tell me what to say. Google it then. later. It's James, fine. if you don't know who Corey Taylor is, don't worry about it. Kill yourself. Right. <laughs> Kill yourself. Consider yourself lucky is more like it. But it's, it's the same <laughs> thing with Casey and uh, his wrestling and, and show, his, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely, man. Like you, you have the passion that we have as musicians. You have that. Towards right. this, and, and it's it's yeah. amazing you know when I listen to it. It's like it sparks the imagination. I don't, I don't it kicks it up. You you have to visualize it in your head. You know. See, all you, all you have to do is find a niche. You don't need to find a lot, but you find a niche. And you go out and you do one of these shows, and you sell them for ten, fifteen bucks a piece, whatever you know, whatever they go and rate us for something like that. And you know, seven thousand people buy it or. 5,000 people buy it and all of a sudden now you've made 50 grand and you're like and, and, like in the scheme of it all there's 300 million people in this country right you know, five exactly. well like I told you like I told you I you know I, I was a WWF fan when I was a kid yeah. you know exactly yeah through the 90s and I loved it and you know and I, I watched Hulk Hogan and and the Ultimate oh, yeah. Warrior, and you oh, yeah. know all the yeah. all the Sean wild Michaels fucking wrestling, yeah, yeah. And he's hilarious. It, he is hilarious. it was cool, you know, because right. It, uh, but I, but I was watching this, but then then I you know I haven't watched wrestling. I haven't kept up on it for a long long time. So then I heard your thing, and I'm like, wow, you know, I'm a, and you got your characters, you got everything that goes on in that, and it like. I'm imagining, you know, this this fucking right. bout going on, you know, See, the thing, no holds barred. Thing. Archer, the thing Casey has going for it, you're the where is, of this band. he's got this this little community of him, of band, his, like you know, and it, it's band people band that are visually impaired, and you, you know, I'll, those people, I'll, I'll take one of them are, are gonna, mind. those people are gonna listen to it and they're gonna love it because what's the difference, you know, just to some of them, you know, they don't see anyway. So they're, so they're just listening to real wrestling. So to Casey, they're basically you know, then they're real matches. Yeah, definitely. You know, and with as much with as much uh, produ- production goes into it and stuff, it sounds legit. It sounds like the real thing. So, you know, and there's a lot of wrestling fans out there. He's just got to find the oh, right you know people what? to hear. Still have one over there. I'm fucking with you, bro. It's all right. Dude, you want me to hold this? Sorry, man. <laughs> oh no, 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 that's all right, man. I just sorry putting that down. Yeah. Just, um, you but you know what though, like. You know, the thing is about it, though, is I've always been very picky about my art, and I have always wanted things to sound as absolutely perfect as possible. You know what I'm saying? You love it, you do it, and you know, of course you're going to put everything you have into it, because if you don't, then you're just cheating yourself. Exactly. And at the end, you know, you get it done, you're like, oh, well, I could do this, but you know what, I'm just going to skip it, whatever. Right, right. And then... Yeah. And, and, you know, dude, like, you know, like, I, I feel that metal music has its place when it comes to what we do. Which, which is a lot of the reason why, why, why I include you guys and Nate and everybody into it. But you know, I think more than anything, it's a sense of fulfillment. You know what I mean? I think it's 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 like all of us can work together, and we, you know, we see all of what everything comes together. Hey man, and, I have more power to you. We'll listen to it. We're fans, so yeah. You always dude. got us. Well, Casey, I got ten minutes to last call. I gotta go get a drink, dude. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's late. Well, um, should we should yes. we cut this off or should yeah, we what? Wrap it up. And, you know, thanks for having us, man. And dude, I, it's, d- Matt, Nate. He went outside to check the generator. We lost power. Oh, uh, did he? Okay. Should we wait for Nate or should we just? Talk to Holly for a little bit. She hasn't spoken shit. Holly, Holly, what do you? Uh, Dude, Jim, I'm you're you're looking at me I'm like I'm some... Talk about your art. Talk about your music. Talk about your lyrics. Talk about the album. Oh, um, like Casey, no, oh you, you guys haven't heard this, but she wrote a song that we uh, 
We call it the acoustic song. I don't remember the actual name of it. But really? Vocally, she fucking... I mean, it's the most beautiful piece of artwork that she's ever done. And she actually... Holly, here's the recorder. Start talking. Like, <laughs> I, I was not aware of, 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 of this song at all until so. Justin brought it to my attention. So Okay, so, so he tells me this is... Uh, this is uh, a beautiful piece of art. Tell me about this piece of art. So, a couple years ago, we had a dog that passed away that was really close to our family. And so, <clears throat> Gil originally wrote the song when you brought it to me. It just gave me, like, that feeling, you know? So, I wrote the song about <clears throat> missing her and the pain that my, like, whole family went about losing her, you know? Right. So, that's what that song's about. So... What what went into writing the lyrics for this? Like, you know how you uh, you kind of have inspirational lyrics about this or that. Well, like, like what kind of kind of drove you forward to do this? Mm. You know? I don't know, the way I like to write music is usually the guys will bring a song, you know, and then I'll sit back and I'll just listen to the song and feel it, you know, right. and however yeah, yeah. it makes me feel yeah. is, exactly. it'll spark an idea and that's what I'll write the song about. Well, you know, so this one's very pretty and it starts out very slow and then it kind of picks up at the end, uh -huh. you know, so it's uh -huh. like at the first part you're like mourning and then by the end of it you're mad. About the whole thing, right, you know, right. basically. So, how it's written. so it's like, so at first, it's kind of a funeral type setting. Kind of, yeah. Kind and of then, has that feeling to it. Like toward the end, we're like kind of angry because, like, will you this and this and blah blah, blah mm -hmm. this and that. So, right on, hell yeah. I like that. I can't find what I was bringing. Do you need help? But, uh, yeah, I... You gonna get a drink? Huh? Yeah. He's gonna get a drink. Okay. Well, I think... You think we gotta wrap this up? I think we should. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we're all pretty drunk. Okay, so y'all... Here, you want this back? Yeah. It is your old pal Casey with the Little Bit of Everything podcast. Holly is the last one standing. Hi, Holly. Hi. What's going on, baby? <laughs> Nothing. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long, fun night. It has been a long, fun night, y'all. So I will talk to y'all next time. This is Casey Schofield. Best looking motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk to you soon, y'all. Peace.